Now, President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Joe Ajero, has urged the judiciary to exercise caution on issuing rulings that could increase hardships in the country. Reacting to the suspension of allocations to the River State Government when he unveiled 10 new CNG part buses at the NLC Secretariat in Port Hackett, he advised the judiciary against embarking on what he called journey of self-destruction. Ajero explained or expressed concern that the decision could worsen the financial situation of workers in River State. He emphasized the importance of expanding the CNG infrastructure nationwide to support the functionality of the vehicles. He sought CNG prices to be regulated to avoid the kind of inflation seen with petrol prices. NLC cannot sit and watch workers of River State suffer. Why we are not going to go into jurisprudence or the position of the judiciary. The NLC is also advising the judiciary not to go into a journey of self-destruct. Everybody seems to be saying that judiciary is the last hope of the common man. We want to plead with the MBA and others to look into what is happening. And the judicial council. Some people that are even uh, live benchers and whatever are seeing what is happening. And they are keeping quiet. Meanwhile, the governor urged the National Secretariat of the NLC, led by Joe Argero, to remain constructive in carrying out their duties of representing the workers and the masses. Governor Fubara, represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Tami Danagogo, assured the NLC of his administration's resolve to make the welfare of workers a priority. If you provide CNG and it is as expensive as PMS, it is useless. I think it's very, very important. We we'll discuss here that while we are discussing the issue of provision of CNG buses, we have to take into cognizance that there must be infrastructure where we can refill the vehicles. And the CNG must be cheap because it's not by tomorrow the price of CNG will still jump like the price of PMS. Then all this struggle would have been in vain. We have gas deposits in Nigeria that can last for the next 500 years. So I don't see the basis for increasing the prices of CNG. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.